Good morning, everybody. This is Kim Danke coming to you live from the Shibola Studios in Kennesaw, Georgia. Today is Monday, July 20th, and I hope that y'all had an awesome weekend. And we are here to start another week and to do a great job taking care of our bodies and our minds and our spirits, and that's what we are all about. Now, we, are, we have 164 days left 164 days left in this year, the 2020 edition of the Game of Life. When you hop on this morning, if you don't mind telling me good morning and where you are from, that would be so awesome. Good morning, Colleen. Thank you. Um, so I hope that y'all had a great weekend. I had, I had four holidays in a row last week due to those luncheons and other things, and I made the adult decision to utilize my holidays in that way. So then I had a holiday on Saturday when I went over to Center, Alabama to teach Shibboleth because holidays are part of that. And then yesterday I had a perfect day. But I need a perfect day. No, I need a holiday on July 31st. Well, and I've already used up all my holidays. So you know what that means? 12 perfect days in a row to get to that holiday that I need on July 31st. But that's just the way you live this lifestyle. If you pull holidays from other days, then you just are going to end up with a long streak, which is best for weight loss if you're in weight loss anyway. It's really best for weight loss. Um, I just happen to be in maintenance. Um, now, I'm going to do Jason's challenge. I have never done one of Jason's challenges yet. So I registered and I paid the $10 and I've got all the little printouts and everything. Uh, so I'm doing Jason's challenge. Um, not really that I need to lose any weight, but the reason that I'm doing his challenge is because it helps you with discipline. And that, honestly, I know how to eat. It's the discipline part that people can lose track of and lose hold of and start slipping down that slippery slope, and I don't want that to happen. So it worked out great that I need all those perfect days in a row, and so I'm just going to do Jason's challenge. It starts today and runs through next Sunday. And I think you could still join this morning if you wanted to. Let me see who's on here this morning. Uh, good morning, Billy. Good morning, Allison from Rockmart, Georgia. And Robin, who I know is from Kennesaw. Good morning, Kelly from Canada. Good morning, Jane. Good morning, Shibby Shop Sherry from Kennesaw. Good morning, Catherine and Cheryl from Clarksville, Georgia. Charlene from Dallas. Sue from Lafayette, and she's intermittent fasting today. That's awesome. Charlene shared this. Thank you. Uh, Lana, good morning. <clears throat> and good morning, Belinda and Barbie from Blue Ridge. Hey, Jonathan Montgomery and Diane Rurodi. See, I got it right. Rurodi. Um, that's a fun name to say. So what we're going to do today, I definitely want y'all to share, okay, because the share... Anything that you can share that's Shibboleth and you tag me in it, you go into the uh, drawing, all right? Um, I also, when you hop off of here, I want you to go to your journal. I like the journal on the website. Whether you're using the website on a computer or you're using the mobile-friendly website, I prefer the website for journaling. Oh, wow, Billy just said he's down 80 pounds and Brenda is down 32. Way to go! And that is since January. Way to go, Billy. That is awesome. You and Brenda have done great. Congratulations. Good morning, Marla. Good morning, Teresa from Mineral Bluff. Good morning. I'm so glad y'all are joining me. Yes, yes. Let's, Billy, all those hearts are going up for you right there. That is awesome. Good morning, Marissa. Uh, yes, it is very good news. So I was going to, I was reading in my Bible yesterday was it yesterday morning yesterday morning yeah i think so and or it might have been saturday and sunday so i was going to tell you good morning dawn um oh yes friday was uh, was uh national emoji day so y'all put some emojis in for me so dawn's cute little emojis right there reminded me today is national lollipop day and if you like lollipops you know anytime i hear the word lollipop does it make you think of that song that goes lollipop, lollipop, oh lolly, lollipop, 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 oh lolly, 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 lollipop. Boom, 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 boom. That makes me think that every time. Um, but if you like lollipops, we do carry a lollipop from Candy Creek that is a uh, sugar-free lollipop, and you can have 
a few of those as an extra in a day if you wanted it. Good morning, Sherry from Fishers, Indiana. Also, we got people from all over watching, even different countries. Canada. Okay. Thank you, Brian. That's right. Happy Monday. We're ready to get started another awesome week living the Shibboleth lifestyle. That's right, Catherine. <laughs> I love that song, though. It's fun. Okay. So I was reading in Proverbs, and woo, Proverbs is good. Proverbs is really good for helping us stay on track. Thank you for that lollipop emoji, Marla, um, for staying on track, especially with discipline. So, and it's talking about wisdom a lot, and wisdom is applying the knowledge that you get. So we do get a lot of knowledge in Shibboleth, but it's really more important that we turn that knowledge into wisdom with the application with the application. Um, so, Proverbs 4, 6. There's going to be a lot of verses today. You don't necessarily have to write them in. Uh, but Proverbs 4, 6 said, Don't turn your back on wisdom, for she will protect you. Love her, and she will guard you. That reminds me of using the shibboleth shield. So, uh, don't turn your back on the shield, for she will protect you. We call it the bulletproof shield. A bulletproof shield protects people. Um, love her, and she will guard you. Love her. When you love something, you give it attention, and she will guard you. So I thought that really fit well. Hey, Jennifer, walking the miles and niles. Awesome. And then the next chapter was about avoiding immoral women. And I would have to add that, avoiding immoral men uh, for the women folk here. But it, avoiding immoral women. So in the middle of a talk about avoiding immoral women, it says this, and I think we can apply it to Shibboleth. In the end, you will groan in anguish. Now, this is if you've not done the right thing. Okay. In the end, you will groan in anguish when disease consumes your body. You will say, how I hated discipline. If only I had not ignored all the warnings. Oh, why didn't I listen to my teachers? Why didn't I pay attention to my instructors? Have I come to the brink of utter ruin and now I must face public disgrace. You know what that says to me? That says that we shouldn't ignore the warnings. You know, there's a lot of warnings that come our way. It's called numbers when you go to the doctor. You get these high numbers that shouldn't be high, low numbers that shouldn't be low, um, and all kinds of things like that. Diagnoses and everything. So, you have, most of you, if you haven't joined Shibboleth and you're listening to this, we would love for you to join Shibboleth. You've learned a lot of things that can help you with your health. You've just got to apply them. You've got to apply them. Um, so that's funny how that was talking about avoiding immoral women, but it applies to us in this too. So then I get over here to chapter 9, and I kind of like this one, and it reminds me of somebody who stays the course Somebody who doesn't just do the fast track program in Shibboleth, stick around for like a month and then fade away because they don't really want to exercise in discipline. So anyone who rebukes a mocker will get an insult in return. Anyone who corrects the wicked will get hurt. So don't bother correcting mockers. They will only hate you. But correct the wise and they will love you. Instruct the wise and they will become even wiser. Teach the righteous and they will learn even more. So this is for those of you that have stick to that have been around a long time. You recognize that. You recognize that uh, when you get a little correction or an adjustment in what you might be doing, that it was for your good. You adopt that and you keep going and you're thankful for that correction. So I like that. Then wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. Now, remember what I said about wisdom. Wisdom is applying the knowledge. So you're getting the knowledge in Shibboleth because it is a nutrition education. We provide all the tools that you need. You have to choose to use them. And it will add years to your life. So you have to apply to get that wisdom. Wisdom will multiply your days and add years to your life. If you become wise, you will be the one to benefit. If you scorn wisdom, you will be the one to suffer. And then over in Proverbs 10, people who accept discipline are on the pathway to life, but those who ignore correction will go astray. 
Um, and then doing wrong is fun for a fool, but living wisely brings pleasure to the sensible. And I'm going to tell you, one of the things that I find about Shibboleth for me is that it has given me a sensible lifestyle. Um, I really want, I, I, I kind of was one of those people that said I'm either on or I'm kind of off. Um, but it wasn't something that I actually said it. It was just that I did it. If I was off, I was like, how many times can I eat at Freddy's Fast Food Restaurant this week with my friends? But now, I just do that more sensibly, okay? I do that more sensibly. I still go to Freddy's Fast Food Restaurant, but I eat there more sensibly, less often, um, that kind of thing. So, it really is important that we live this lifestyle and adopt it into a balanced life. Uh, the Lord doesn't like for us to have extremes in our life. He wants us to leave more, live more of a balanced life. And then... The last thing that's, that jumped out at me when I was reading over the weekend is this verse that doesn't really have to do with my application to Shibboleth. It has to do with uh, people giving their opinions all the time. Um, and sometimes I have to keep my mouth closed. And it says, too much talk leads to sin. Be sensible and keep your mouth shut. <laughs> so I like to talk. I've got the gift of gab. But I do have, I've noticed that as I've gotten back out and about with people out in public, that I also need to learn to keep my mouth closed and go, mm hmm, yeah, yeah, just listen to them talk and keep my mouth closed. So I'm thankful for those Proverbs this morning. So, you know, Proverbs is a great, great book. You can read one chapter in Proverbs every day along with your uh, other reading, and it would just give you so much to go by each day. Good morning, Charlene. Um, let's see. Catherine says she's been struggling the past year after losing 38 pounds, staying on this, staying about the same weight, but have recently gotten back on track and headed down. Awesome, Catherine. Good, 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 Michelle. Good morning, Michelle from Carrollton. Y'all, let's give let's give some hearts to Catherine getting back on track. Here's the thing: there are relapses. There are relapses. But um, what we need to do is not be off of the planet more than we're on the planet, okay? Hey, my daughter's calling me FaceTime, so let me see what she needs. I, well, okay, I didn't, I didn't answer it in time, but she's calling really early. So I'm going to hop off of here. Hey, Dawn. Yeah, oh, that's funny. She, I thought that looked like a guy with a, with a uh, thermometer hanging out of his mouth, but I see it's a zipper mouth. That's funny. That's right. Uh, so, I love you all very, very much. I hope that y'all have a great day planned for Shibboleth that also turns into a great day planned for your life. And if you will, when you hop off of here, share something from the Shibboleth website and tag me or share this and then go journal and start your day off right. Start your day with journaling. Bye, everybody.